This is the Hard Hide Ponchatoula Strawberry Whiskey segment. Uh, one of the guys we've been talking about for a while, Hunter Renfro, it's a name that's been linked to Derek Carr since the beginning of Derek Carr's tenure here. We were hearing things about Hunter Renfro before Derek Carr was even a member of this team. There was a want to to acquire him. He's just got cut by the, the Raiders. I am interested to see if that gets reignited. It feels like I would be shocked if there's not a call. I'd be shocked yeah. if there hasn't been a call already. It, it feels like something that they should look into. I think he would probably make sense in this offense. Yep. Now, we don't really know anything about the offense now, though. Like, it's a whole new system. True. It's a whole new people with a whole new menu of players that they want. It seems like he should be able to fit. But what do you think? You think they should go after him? One thing I do know about this offense is they have two fullbacks because they just resigned Adam Prentice today after adding Xander Forbeth. So that'll be interesting how they're um, going to do that. I think yes. So here's here's my only hesitation on Hunter Renfro. I say yes. Uh, we've got a graphic, I think, showing all of the receivers currently under contract for the Saints. Three guys. We love those three guys. We love the potential of those three guys. We love the ages of those three guys. But there is something missing here, and I think it's a slot receiver. I think it's a big possession receiver. I think ideally I'd fill that with a big slot. Now, they can't get Jawan Jennings, or they probably won't. The 49ers tendered him at a, at a nice value. I've mentioned Tyler Boyd a couple times. That would be my top choice. Fill the slot with a big possession receiver. But I can't get over the fact that Hunter Renfro caught 103 passes out of the slot for Derek Carr a couple of years ago. He's gone really quiet since then. More important than, like, you have to be a big physical possession receiver, I just care that when it's third and six, Derek Carr can find you and get the ball to you. Um, that's the other element they need. They got guys who can go down the field. They got guys who can make big plays. They got guys who can do things after the catch. I want someone in traffic, whether you are physicaling your way through that traffic or you're finding the little holes like we've seen Lance Moore, Willie Sneed over the years, Emmanuel Sanders. Renfro's 5'10", 185. He doesn't, he doesn't give me the contested catch ability, but I, 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 I kind of like the idea. I, but I kind of feel like it's an either or. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know what to make of, of Hunter Renfro. He had yeah. one great season, yeah. and his first two seasons were solid. His last two seasons were really poor. I, I have no idea what to make of him. I don't know what he's going to do, what he's going to be. It's easy to look at that 21 season and, and assume the best, but yeah. what if you get the worst? He was good in that year, though. Like He had a good amount of yards after catch. He caught 80% of his catches. He had, he had a good, good yards after catch, too. So, I mean, that's something else they need here, but yeah. the rest of his career has just been kind of – you know, up and down. So I, I have no idea what to expect from him. Um, he, it was volume that year, though, too. Like, I, he, he didn't average a ton of yards, per, but it's the type of routes he's running. I, I just don't I don't know how to project him into anything because it's just been so sporadic. But I think when you have three guys under contract, you have somebody that, that has been a go-to guy for the quarterback that the quarterback loves, feels incredibly comfortable with. I like the idea. It's hard not to like the idea of it. I just don't know what I would extend myself to to acquire him. I don't think I'm paying – top of the market or no, anything like that. No way, no way. And I, I, I want to have him on a contract where I feel like I can get another guy because I do think they need the big possession type receiver because if you go – and look, A.T. Perry's probably going to help with some of that, but I want someone else in that mix. And if you go Chris Olave, Rashid Shahid, and Hunter Renfro, like there's nobody in that group that's going to jump over anybody, make a contested catch, yeah. like in traffic, in a tight situation. We've seen a little bit from Olave. We haven't seen a ton of that from Shahid. Renfro's just – you know, he's not a big, strong, powerful guy. Like, I want one of those still, too, in addition to all that. But if you can add him to this mix and right. Clint Kubiak and them like him, I, I love it. The quarterback loves him. I mean, it can't be bad, but I'm not paying him for the 1,000-yard season. No. I want to pay him for But I think that's the beauty of it. Let, think, me, let me take all those numbers, divide yeah. them by five, and what is it, 3,000 divided by five? Let me pay him for a 600-yard season. Yeah, well, he he only had... 255 this year and 330 the year before that with a total of two touchdowns over the last two years. So I hope he's super cheap. I, I'm assuming there's a discount involved here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm if if you're paying for the upside, move, move along. My my only and I'm not even gonna call it a concern here though is, but especially with the budget we're working with, yeah, I want the physical guy and I want the slot guy. But th there's a different math problem here. I mean, five the Saints don't don't really field five receivers during a game. I mean, I'm only paying one more guy. So I, I feel like it's either or with real money. I mean, otherwise we're talking about paying a guy who's going to be inactive on game days when everyone's healthy. So uh, I think there's one spend at receiver. To me, I'd still want the physical guy, but but I think this is another route you could do. What I want more than anything is a guy who can 
catch a ball in traffic on third down. So there's different ways to do that. So I, I'm in, I'm interested in the idea. Yeah, me too. Definitely. It's hard. Not, I, yeah. I like it. I like it just yeah. at the right price. The 600, yeah. 600 yard receiver price. I think he's someone that should probably sign a one year deal, honestly, if I'm his agent, like, because you aren't getting paid a lot right now. And he has that upside. So he's somebody that I would, if I was his agent, I'd probably say one year deal. He should want to prove it. Yeah. Work with and, Derek Carr, shouldn't he? Right. I think it's the right <laughs> situation for him to do that. So yeah, definitely, definitely interesting.